Hello everyone, I am the Plane Shifter, fading to the universe of Homeward Emergency. Emergence. I, I need to say this word in a way that it doesn't look like I'm saying emergency, emergency. One day, one day, maybe. And apparently today is another bad frames day. For some reason, I keep losing 10% frames. I have no idea what is causing it, uh, or even how to look into what is causing it. But yeah, uh, this game specifically didn't get the remake treatment the rest of the Homeworld series got. So we are going to deal with uh, old school UI and... Um, the game is already a bit weird on the way it uh, <laughs> is appearing on my screen and stuff. And I do want to do some training. Please. Begin. Teach me stuff. Welcome to the Homeworld Cataclysm Tutorial. This tutorial is divided into 12 lessons. Each lesson has objectives listed in the bottom left corner. As in the regular single player game, clicking on these will provide you with detailed information about an objective. If at any time you need more information on how to complete a lesson objective, clicking the objective listing will give you instructions. If you are familiar with Homeworld and know how to complete an objective without explanation, you can do so. You can even skip the objective altogether, though a refresher never hurts. You can proceed to the next lesson at any time by clicking the button labeled Next Lesson. You can restart a lesson or go back to a previous lesson by clicking the button labeled Restart Lesson. Pressing the backspace key will skip from one speech event to the next. For this tutorial, it is best if your key configuration is set to the game's default. Okay, if you have altered anything. your key bindings in the option screen prior to beginning the tutorial, you can reset them by pressing Escape. This will bring up the game menu. From there, you can access the key configuration settings by clicking the Options button. Alright, I didn't change anything. The game still looks pretty good for how old it is. Even though it's a very like a simple model, not a lot of polygons here. Ready. Anyway, you want me to click this, okay? Good. The objective for lesson one is now complete. Click the next lesson button to move on to lesson two. All right. You want me to rotate the camera? This lesson one. deals with controlling the camera in Cataclysm. Click an objective to continue with the lesson. Move the camera view to the top of command ship. You mean like this? Yeah. Going into docking pattern. Oops. The lesson is now complete. Click the next lesson button when you are ready uh. to move on. <laughs> okay, I completed it. I docked my stuff even though that was an accident. <sighs> WASD, I still want to press control cameras with WASD. Click select group. This lesson deals with selecting ships. <laughs> when you issue a command, it is issued to all of the ships currently selected. Click an objective to continue with the lesson. Okay. Left clicking on a ship by itself will select that ship. If the ship no. is in formation with other ships, left clicking it will select all the ships in the group. Clicking the ship a second time will select that individual ship. No, I'm just doing some uh, tutorial just stuff. Just tell me where to go. Roger, command. Receiving. Uh, okay. Roger, command. Interesting Roger, way to command. deal with groups. Just say the word. Ready. Roger, command. Recon, ready to go. 
Let me at him. Okay. You want me to do this? Me. Where is the ship list on the top right? Hello. Oh, the UI is very readable like this. Isn't very readable. Ooh. Okay. No idea how to fix. Roger, command. Ready. Oh, okay. Use shift to add ships to the collection. Just okay. tell me where to go. The lesson is now complete. Click the next lesson button when you are ready to move on. So far, so simple. Uh, let's see. Is there font size increase? Uh, video. Effects high, model quality, increase, brightness, texture, memory. Hmm. Not really. Yeah, old game, old game. What else? Uh, speak music, advanced. Uh, I can control how much bottle shatter there is. Interest. Nothing on gameplay. Yeah. Okay. I'm not sure if I can. S Make things any better. This lesson covers focusing the camera in Cataclysm. Click an objective to continue with the lesson. I really need to learn this. To focus the camera on any ships you have selected, press the F key. F. The first time you focus, the view will center on the ship. A second time, we'll move the view in close to the selected ships. Alternately, you can hold the Alt key and left-click on an object to focus in close on it. This mm. Alt focus allows you to focus the camera on most anything in the game, including your ships, enemy ships, even asteroids and debris. Remember that once you have focused the camera, you can use the right mouse button to rotate the camera around on either the mouse wheel or both mouse buttons to zoom in and out. Uh, the 4 by 3 is to blame, sure, but lacking UE size options is a big issue for watching it. Roger, um, command. Command. Bridge. The lesson is now complete. Click the next lesson button when you are ready to move on. Bridge. Uh, and how do I unfocus? Do I... Uh, Okay. Hmm. This lesson covers the Sensors Manager, which is a broad tactical overview of the mission area, and gives an introduction to the right-click menu. Activate the Sensors Manager to continue. The Sensors Manager can be accessed through the right-click menu under the heading View, and then the subheading of Sensors. Alternately, you can activate the Sensors Manager by pressing the space bar. Uh, my monitor is a regular 10, uh, 1080 monitor. Hmm. What I'm going to try to do is maybe change the resolution as I'm done with the uh, tutorial open sensors manager okay this is the sensors manager 
all of the commands you can issue from the main view, such as selecting, attacking, or moving, can also be issued here within the Sensors Manager. These commands will be discussed later. You can still click and hold the right mouse button to change your view, and click and hold both mouse buttons, or the mouse wheel if you have it, to zoom in and out while the Sensors Manager is active. While you can move your view however you like, a top-down view is often the best overview of your fleet in Sensors Manager. This is your command ship. All ships appearing in the Sensors Manager are color-coded. Your ships appear in green. Hostile ships are red. Friendly ships, such as Allied ships, ships manned by other kith, or Tidan Republican ships appear as blue. Asteroids appear as brown dots. This is a ping. Pings only show up in Sensors Manager and are used to point out important items like significant ships or areas of space. Let's have a look at the Sensors Manager's subfunctions. The blue area denotes the range for your active sensors. Active sensors only give useful readings relatively close to the ships of the fleet. Enemy ships can only be spotted within active sensor range. Friendly ships can be seen beyond this range as they are sending you their location coordinates. The light-colored framework is a display of the approximate range for passive sensors. As you move ships around, this framework will change accordingly to show what areas have been explored. The passive sensors record the position of resources within their scan range, but passive sensors use such a weak signal that you cannot see if an explored area has changed until a ship is sent through the area again. These are weak sensor returns from beyond passive sensor range. You can use these returns as a landmark of sorts to help visualize the position of your fleet in an area of space. These weak returns are often good indications of where to look for resources. Okay, exit out the sensors out of space. Yeah. The lesson is now complete. Click the next lesson button when you are ready to move on. Moving and waypoints, please teach me. This lesson deals with moving ships and setting up patrol paths using waypoints. Click an objective to continue with the lesson. If you have ships selected, you can activate the right-click menu and select Move from the menu. Receiving. Alternately, you can access the Movement Manager by pressing the M key. Activate the Movement Manager now. This is the Movement Manager. It will be locked open for the time being in order to demonstrate its usage. You can still click and hold the right mouse button to change your view, and click and hold both mouse buttons, or the mouse wheel if you have it, to zoom in and out, even while the movement manager is active. This is okay. often handy when trying to place the destination point in a particular area. This is a good angle to use when in the movement manager. It gives you a very clear picture of where everything is in three-dimensional uh, space. Sure. <laughs> Tell the ships to move by placing the pointer where you want to go. To move ships vertically, hold the shift key while moving the pointer. When the movement manager is open, ships in view will have an orange line drawn from them, which indicates their position up or down in relation to the pie plate of the movement manager. These lines are also drawn for pings while moving in sensors manager. If you move the pointer to the base of a height line, then hold down shift to adjust the pointer's height, you can use the height line as a guide to help you move the pointer to a specific position relative to another ship. Once you have the pointer where you would like your ships to go, and you are ready to have them move out, click the left mouse button. The lockdown or movement manager is now released, and you can move your ships. Coordinates locked in. Okay, I moved them. Right. Create a patrol path and a linear path. Please teach me. Waypoints are a series of points in space which make up a path for a ship to move along. As an example, you can use waypoints to set up patrol paths, define a search pattern, or to move your ships around and away from large enemy forces. 
Go into the right-click menu and select Start Waypoints. Ready. Start Waypoints with W, okay? This is the Waypoint Manager. It works exactly the same as the Movement Manager. Only every time you left-click a specific point, the Manager will mark the point and remain open so you can add new points to your Waypoint Path. There are three types of Waypoint Paths. Linear Waypoint Mode will direct the ships to follow the waypoints and wait at the end. End-to-end -end waypoint mode will instruct the ships to follow the waypoint path to the end, turn around, and follow the waypoints back again. The ships will continue to follow the path like this until they are instructed otherwise. Circular waypoint mode will instruct the ships to follow the waypoints, then, when they reach the final waypoint, to head back to the first point and start following the path again, making a closed patrol loop. The ships will continue to follow this path until they are given other orders. These modes can be set by opening the right-click menu, selecting the heading Start Waypoints, and then selecting the waypoint mode you want from the subheadings. Once you have created the waypoint pattern you want, pressing the W key will close the waypoint manager and set the selected ships along that path. Okay, this UI is a bit more complicated than usual RTS stuff. Patrol mode for an RTS sounds suicidal. Recon, ready to go. The lesson is now complete. Click the next lesson button when you are ready to move on. All right. What now? Attacking, okay. This lesson teaches how to issue attack commands. Click an objective to continue with the lesson. When you have combat vessels selected and you move your mouse over enemy ships, you will see the pointer change. This new pointer icon means the ship is an enemy target. By left clicking on it, you will be ordering your selected ships to attack. Roger, Command. Moving to attack. I had to leave you all the way up there, didn't I? Okay, you're not that far. And I can do this. The lesson is now complete. That is loud. You're not done. Come back and keep exploding stuff. Right. I mean, when you had the scout strategy of sending a horse rider into with a torch into the night, expecting them to never return in stuff like Stronghold. Uh, is this one of those dope surround sounds games? I think it is. This lesson covers how to build ships. Ship construction is done in the build manager. Where is the build manager? Returning to hangar. Nope. Moving out. This is command. Tell me how this works. You can access the build manager either through the view options in the right click menu or by pressing B. Oh, Activate view. the build manager now. Start by selecting worker from the build menu. Clicking on any ship from the list will highlight it as the ship you'd like to build. By continuing to click the ship you have selected, you will increase the number of that type of ship you'd like to build. You can also set the number of ships you wish to build by clicking the increase arrow. The decrease arrow will obviously set a lower number if you want to change the number of ships to build. 
or you can repeatedly right click on the ship you have selected. When you are ready to build, you can start construction by pressing the build button. This gauge indicates your support unit usage. The maximum size of a fleet is measured by support units. Different ships uh. have different support unit requirements. An acolyte, for instance, requires fewer support units than a larger ship, such as a dreadnought. Okay, population then. As you increase the number of ships to build, the gauge reflects the number of support units you have remaining. You can increase your total support units by researching and building support modules. Okay. You can pause or cancel building at any time by selecting ships being built and pressing the pause or cancel buttons. You can resume paused builds by pressing the pause button again. Highlighting a ship from the list and clicking the info button turns on or off useful statistics and information about that ship. All of your command critical functions are tied into one another. You can move from the build manager to the research and systems managers and back again okay. through these buttons here. Right, build the construction underway. Uh, mo most of the dope surround is used for loud uh, screaming and loud explosions. Okay. Maricon guys are still patrolling. Okay. Speaking of, do you remember the THX logo screen sound? Ah, I, I do. I don't think I can mimic it, but uh, something like this, yeah. Jarring noise. Oh, you want me to build two workers? I didn't say so first. And why don't I press B? Thank you. Beginning construction. Worker ready. Special wash. Harvest, repair, salvage. Interesting. Oh, you can salvage. Oh boy, I need ar I need a lot of workers. <laughs> I need more than two. <laughs> Worker here. The lesson is now complete. Click the next lesson button when you are ready to move on. Harvesting, repairing, and salvaging. Okay. This lesson covers the three important functions of a worker. Harvesting resources, repairing ships, and salvaging. These three special abilities are good examples of context-sensitive actions. By learning how to use the worker's Worker special ready. abilities, you will learn how to use those of the other ships in your fleet. Target Note one. that the workers you have here in the tutorial are already upgraded with repair and salvaging technologies. Outside of this tutorial, in order to use these abilities, the appropriate technology must be researched and workers okay. must then be properly upgraded. Researching and upgrading will be covered later. Click an objective to continue with the lesson. I think I know what I'm doing here. Do I need two of you to salvage this thing? Okay, that looks a lot better than the original one. Oh, I don't even need to bring it back. Worker ready. Give me this to the pros. Worker here. Worker ready. Repair underway. I don't need to repair the 
I am Cannon, okay? Harvesting. Go harvest resources. Drop point. Uh, no. How do I move the camera? That's something that wasn't properly explained. Worker ready. Yeah. The lesson is now complete. Click the next lesson button when you are ready to move on. That's how, okay. Formations, okay. This lesson covers advanced topics in attacking, such as how to put a selection of ships into formation and how to set tactics. Click an objective to continue with the lesson. To set ships into a formation, select the ships you wish to set, then select formations from the right-click menu and select the desired formation. Receiving. In this case, set the formation to Delta. Delta, formation set. Did you actually... Underway, two coordinates now. Do any formation? Ah, you did. Aggressive. Roger, command. Tactics aggressive. Going to high alert now. I know what this does. Guard the workers with your acolytes. So. Ready. Special action. No special action available. Okay. Roger, command. Talk, retard, consultate. Okay, tell me about this. You can issue the guard command from anywhere, including the sensors manager. Select the escort ships you intend to guard with. Then hold the G key and bandbox select the ships you want the escort ships to guard. The escort ships will then move to protect the Roger ship command. they're guarding. Okay. Underway. Roger, command. So I need to press G. Escorts assigned. You can assign ships to a hotkey group for easy selection later. To do this, select the ships you want to group. Then, Just say press the Control word. and a number from 1 to oh, 9. That's this basic. will be the number of the group. You can quickly select... The lesson is now complete. Click the next lesson button when you are ready to move on. Stand by group one. Kind of step back to the Deserts of Karak. Learn as you play design for tutorials. That's because Deserts of Karak is actually the most recent game. It's a prequel. But uh, these ones were like releasing like uh, the nine, 900s. Lesson 11, we're almost done. This lesson covers how to research upgrades for your fleet. This is done through the research manager. 
You can activate the Research Manager from the right-click menu by selecting the heading View and the subheading Research Manager. Alternately, you can access the Research Manager by pressing the R key. Research underway. This is the Research Manager. You can move from the Research Manager to the other Command Function Managers and back again through these buttons. The Research Manager works a lot like the Build Manager. When you want to research a technology, Way ahead click of you. on it in the list on the left. Research completed. Link technology research has been completed. Any new acolytes you build will have this technology. New. As well, you can now upgrade previously built acolytes. Okay, that's Click different. the close button Resources to exit research down. manager. You can then double click the technology or click the research button below to begin research. As in the build manager, clicking yeah, the info I get button it, I get will it. give more okay. information on selected technologies. Ready. How do I upgrade? Notice the blinking yellow dot next to the ship's condition bar. This is an indicator that a ship has upgrades available. Larger ships, like the command ship, can have their crews execute upgrades in the field. In the case of small ships, they need to dock for upgrades. This is done via the upgrade command in the right-click menu. Roger this command, command, like the yellow indicator dot, will only appear when there are technologies available for upgrades. Going into docking pattern. Oh, you have two sites to dock now? Good. Command. Kind of. Yeah, I need to keep that in mind. Heading back up. Link to upgraded acolytes. Select your upgraded acolytes, Receiving. and from the right-click menu, select the heading Special Actions, and then the subheading Link. Beginning link now. What are you doing? The lesson is now complete. Oh. Click the next lesson button when you are ready to move on. Ready. Okay. Interesting. Am I going to form Voltron eventually? <laughs> uh, turn on tactical this view. This lesson covers various other features of Homeworld Cataclysm. Click an objective to continue with the lesson. Okay. The tactical overlay shows ship types, paths, and other useful information. To turn the tactical overlay on or off, choose View and the subheading Tactical Overlay from the right-click menu. Oh! I might want this on all the time. This is pretty good. Personally, I'd say there are worse tutorial types. Advanced Tactics tutorial is a turn-based dungeon crawler presented as rooms of a puzzle game against enemies that obliterate you in one two hits, where you have to figure out yourself what it is. Take movement inputs like a Sokoban puzzle, or the game itself is a single messed up input, isn't nearly as life or death. Mm. Spaceship Voltron punches that start today at 5? Let's see. <laughs> What's this? To turn the pilot's eye view on or off, use the right-click menu, and from Roger under the heading View, choose the subheading Pilot View. Wait... Wait a second... That is a thing. Uh, okay. We need to do stuff with this. Receiving. Moving to attack. Mm. 
No. I don't think I can control the ship. Uh, all of that is just automated. But boy! <laughs> I can't, like, I can't even uh, order it to move. <laughs> Still, the coolness of the game has increased tenfold. <laughs> okay, retire a ship. To retire a ship. Choose Retire from the right-click menu. Retiring oh. ships frees up support units and also returns a small amount of resource units to your RU total. Just tell me where to go. Return ship and stand down. Scuttle? What's the scuttle? If you are worried about your ship being captured or you need the support units, you can order a ship to scuttle itself. To order a self-destruct or scuttle of a ship, select the ship and hit the shift plus the S keys. The ship will then ask for confirmation. If you then hit the shift plus the S keys again quickly, Recon. it will self-destruct. Confirmation is required to prevent the accidental destruction of your ships. Recon has been decommissioned. It was blow up. Okay. In single player missions, you can use time compression to speed things up. With time compression on, the world moves by at eight times the speed. This is useful in cases such as at the end of a mission while harvesting remaining resources. You can turn time compression on or off by pressing the backslash key. The backslash? Did it work? Looks like it did. Yeah? Has it though? No, where would be the backslash? In the... This is the end of the Homeworld ah. Cataclysm tutorial. All of the topics covered here are also explained in greater detail in the manual, along with helpful quick keys and other useful information. Click the quit button to exit. Worker ready. Okay. So, time compression for me is a totally different key. I think in total our actual guns expansion for the gunpowder based weapon we had an option to manually aim cannons for potentially better accuracy. Uh, the best part of the first pilot seat controller setups with a lot of buttons is self-destructor eject button having a cover you have to flap. Ah yeah. Okay. Let's see if he can... Uh, Make readability better. If I use this, uh, the screen is smaller for me. Okay. That was expected. Hi. Did it make it any better? Welcome to the Homeworld Cataclysm Tutorial. 
This tutorial is divided into 12 lessons. Each lesson has objectives listed in the bottom left corner. As in the regular single player game, clicking on these will provide you with detailed information about an objective. Can you get more centered? Thank you. Okay. It's lightly. Okay. My window for this game got if a at lot any time smaller. You need more information on how to complete a lesson objective. Thank you. So, yeah, I guess you need to deal with this. Alright. And... Sing. I don't think I have speech text. Message up to a point for power left click, right click. Let's see. Hmm. Does it hit you much? Uh, no, the size is okay. If at any time you need more information, it doesn't look like it changed any objective. Clicking the objective listing will give you instructions. Welcome to the Homeworld Cataclysm tutorial. Dang. This tutorial is divided into What if now with the small menu font I switch back? Hmm. Wait. Or do you mean... Ah! Okay. That's the font that it changed. This tutorial is divided into 12 lessons. Got it. Each lesson <laughs> has objectives. Alright. Fastest game possible if... Probably. Sensor <laughs> search. Yeah, it doesn't have a UE options for that. Yeah, and this is the smallest I am. I am go. I am willing to go. All right, let's do this. I know this game. I knew this game wouldn't be easy to capture, but well, it is what it is. Oh, I can change my color. Oh no. Game difficult, I can keep on normal. As this player simple. Ooh. Of course, you need to make things green here. A nice dark green. make this any darker okay that's good all right we begin The war for Higara has left the galaxy in turmoil. The past 15 years have seen the birth of new possibilities and the festering of old grudges. The once dominant Taidan Empire has fractured under the strain of civil war. The new Taidani Republic tries to hold the old territories together, while forces loyal to the old emperor lurk in the new bandit kingdoms, waiting for their chance to strike back. 
While the Taidani struggle between past and future, the Kushan people have established themselves on Higara, building new cities, repairing the damage done by the final battle for their home world. Even a fragile peace has its politics. The Kith Council has been re-established, and the future of Higara is now debated amongst the gathered Kithsa. Even amongst equals, there are power struggles. The mothership still orbits high above Higara. Pressed into the role of shipyard, she now builds new carriers to the specifications of each individual Kith. The need for new ships and the crews to man them is a desperate one. Military and economic pressure on the new Higarans is intense. Resources and technology are at the command of the council. Kith, with little or no political power, have been forced to purchase technology from the Bentuzi and other races. Higaran ships of exotic design now seek their fortune amongst the stars. The war for homeworld is over now, but the galaxy remains a dangerous place. So, are we going to wipe out the last remnants of the previous? Coming in on Vector Two Four Seven. Kids, so much many fast so cool and couldn't read. So imperialists are attacking. They are requesting assistance, and I guess I'm gonna provide this is it. Sam Tafli, command to all ships. Prepare for emergency hyperspace. Set course for the home world. I realized that the subtitles may be way too small. Yeah, basically I just reduced the window uh, resolution and stretched it on OBS. Our ships. Right. Offering it on my end. No, it's on my end. Uh, I couldn't fix it. Today.
I think I'm getting there late. Auto launch set. Tactical officer online. Full power to sensors, analyzing combat data now. Command, we need to find out where we can do the most good. Understood, tactical. Attention carrier Virak. This is Kit Somtom mining vessel Kunlan. We have arrived in sector 112 and request targeting data. Good to have you, Kunlan. We've got a strike fleet needing cover in sector 109. Can you assist? Hello, Mr. Twim. We'll send everything we've got, but be advised, we are a mining vessel. It would be best if we did not have to move directly into the main battle. Strike right wing of Fireland's frigates are under attack from Titani bombers at this position. Without fighter support, the frigates will be destroyed and that flank will collapse. Send out a squad of Acolyte fighters ASAP to assist the frigates. Do I have a squad of those things? Worker ready. Just tell me where to go. Okay. Construction underway. Build a bunch of these. Can make a rumming frigate. up a flight of Tidan fighters incoming from the main battle. They're probably investigating our hyperspace signature. These. Beginning construction of ramming frigate. Receiving. Uh, here we go. Just say the word. Armed and target set. Ready. Target acquired. It's not. Ramming frigate. Construction completed. Worker ready. Okay. How are things going here? Better than I expected.
Oh, come on. Ramming frigate. Construction completed. Okay. We've done it. By taking pressure off Kith Nabal's flank force, we've helped hold the line. Attention, Kun Lan. The first Imperialist attack wiped out our sensor grid. We need you to scout enemy positions with your recon ships. We are planning a counterattack. Okay. I need to check one thing. Options, key bindings. Uh, toggle waypoint, waypoint. Link, link, clock, console, EMP. Tactics, formation, camera. Focus, focus, cancels, forward, focus, insert. Pan. Okay. So. Why can't I pan? Right, is that my no? Underway, two coordinates now. Okay, bridge. This is somewhat of a confusing. Receiving you loud and clear. Target acquired. Need repairs, Command. But this is still cool. the rest of my things returning to hangar yeah worker ready can you repair no okay this is basically similar to x3 or x4 uh, never play those ones What can I research? Uh, can't I acquire for the construction of acolyte mimics? Can't I do anything with this? Okay. So, explore designated region. Recon, ready to go. Let me at him. I'm on my way, command. Mm. 
I'll be there before you blink. There we go. All right. So tactical view is a menu. Might need research, research. Probably. Receiving. Moving to attack. Can you stop attacking my workers? Roger, command. Roger, command. Setting assigned group one. We have picked up a convoy of enemy resources with escorts in this area. They must be resupplying the Imperialist attack fleet. Engage and destroy them. You said it. Weapons charged. Ready. Roger, command. All right, let's do this. <laughs> our engineers think there is a way to link our acolytes together to form a Corvette class vessel. They are ready to begin research on the project. Research underway. I think I already have this one. It's a basic technology. Okay. Hostiles by group one. Fight the hostiles. That's what they send you there. We're gonna ram. Whoa, that's a maneuvering. Oh, I, I think I lost my my ship. Beginning construction of ramming frigate. I may have been able to eliminate it. Group one. Stand by, group one. Hostiles by group one. Target locked in. Fire at the hostiles. Uh oh. Ready to go. Ramming frigate. Construction completed. I think we lost the entirety of group one, basically. Research completed. ACV nice. is now available for construction. Sorry to chip your ball paint. Yes. 
Okay. This is weird. <laughs> Ramming frigate. Construction completed. Alright, you're melee, but you're kind of powerful. Got it. Getting in. Moving to attack. Come on. This is such a weird thing that they do that, like... They do a lot of basic damage, but they're not all that efficient. That said, it is a... Why are you not Ready doing anything? Go. Charging weapon. Ready to go. Oh, you are doing something. It's that my camera is locked on you. So you look at stopped. Relativism. Coming in. Ready to go. Returning to hangar. I need to plan this better. Okay, figure it out. How to finally pan the camera. It's the arrow keys, but I need to turn off non lock. <laughs> this is command. Okay, this is gonna help. How do I unfocus? Okay. What do we have on research? Nothing. Okay. Receiving. Going into docking pattern. I need you to upgrade. Alright. Receiving. 
form whatever it is that you form. Roger, command. Okay, what are you now? An ACV. So you can build more. Oh, I can build ACV directly. Huh. Beginning construction. Okay. Ready. You're an acolyte. What are you doing over there? Returning to hangar. Okay, which means I might need one more of you. I can't, for some reason. Probably I reached the limit of a. Support units, okay. I'm receiving you loud and clear. Bridge. Now I may have an issue. Where are my workers? Command. I do have an issue. Workers are expensive. Assigned group two. Receiving. Setting assigned group one. The camera is still super weird. Stand by group one. Stand by group two. Can I move you? Yes. Command ship is underway. Yeah. And this is the other worker. Okay. I really need to repair them. Okay. I didn't lose my workers. Good. Stand by group one. Stand by group two. Stand by group one. Where is group one compared to group two? Okay. This is command. 
Be advised, fleet. Command ship is relocating. Okay. Stand by, group one. Vortex, locked in. Stand by, group two. Let's go. Stand by group two. Stand by group two. That's attack. Can you imagine there's multiplayer? Underway. Target acquired. Attention, Kit the Ball. This is the Somtom mining vessel Kunlan. The enemy resources have been destroyed. Anything else I need to do? Underway, two coordinates now. is underway. Hmm. I still can't move her. Huh. The camera. Stand by group one. Stand by group two. Hmm. Am I done? Are you giving me any news to do? Ready to go, sir. Right now. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I feel like I'm kind of locked to the to the ships. Okay. What is a hangar module? Me, give me info. Fighter drive, advanced frigator, linking technology frigator. Uh, a hangar module is a military grade construction facility for the internal production of StarCraft and frigate class vessels. Incorporated the lower module interfaces in order to externally construct super capital ship hulls, advanced engine, and uh, Design works during here as well, okay? It's a processor. 
required hangar module. Uh, upgrade tech, crystal processing, processors best used to speed up resource gathering far from the command ship, okay? Can I build one of these? I cannot. Ready to go. Can I get you in uh, formation? Oh. Warning. The proximity sensor net is under attack in Sector 110. If the net fails, the Tidan Force can run their entire fleet through the hole. We must defend the net immediately. Really? Stand by Group 1. Moving to attack. Stand by Group 2. Got it. Heading in. Stand by group one. Okay. Roger, command. Let's do some time compression here. It's not like you can do much else. I've already sent out the units. Here we are. You're just gonna die. Stand by group one. Uh, you're still kinda far. Stand by group two. Stand by group two. Target acquired. Stand by group one. Target locked in. Bridge. Okay. I can build a wreck on an acolyte. Uh, very little power. Okay, what do I have on systems? Hangar module, okay. Stand by group one. Okay. Can you build more workers? Uh, I'm on a population limit. Freaking cool. Report hostiles by group one. It's done. Our forces have taken the upper hand. The yep. Imperials are pulling back. One of their damaged cruisers is in this area. Does the X-Series? Uh. And make sure it never threatens Higara again. Stand by group one. Target acquired. Stand by group two. Charging weapon. Okay. Stand by group one. How am I 
Okay, I didn't get all that many casualties. I lost one or two ships. Not really that big of a deal. This guy is very damaged. Roger, command. Long live time compression. <laughs> Someone is screaming stay down, which is a very neat thing to do. <laughs> Are you gonna try to attack the small ones? No, he's still focusing on the big one. Of course there are hostiles. What do you think I'm here for? That's a resistant one. Okay. Let me get a better view of what's going on. By group one. Stand by group one. Okay. How oh, I still haven't lost a lot of anything. Receiving you loud and clear. Stand by group two. Stand by group one. Moving to attack. Let's have group one attack the Report of hostile fighters. Group one. Report of hostiles by group one. In. Stand by group one. Weapons charged. Yeah. Report of hostiles by group two. Report of hostiles by group two. Report of hostiles by group two. Group 2. 
Did I lose? Did I lose a Ram Frigate? Or did it never reach the uh, fight? Stand by, Group One. Stand by, Group One. Moving to attack. Stand by, Group Two. Moving to attack. Actually, Group Two is trying to catch up with that thing. Stand by, Group Two. Stand by, Group One. Will I stand by group two? Ready to go. Okay. This guy actually caught up, caught up with this thing. Time for another ramming. Report of hostiles by group two. Report of hostiles by group one. Okay, group one caught up. <laughs> I wish I could see the the HP of that thing. The Tidan cruiser has been eliminated. Excellent. Ready to go. Objective completed. All right. Ready. Everyone, go dock. Going into docking pattern. Focus on command ship. Am I done with the? Yeah. Can you guys repair itself if you dock? Let me do We're experiments now that things are. Less hectic. I guess I harv harvested everything. Another cool X4 thing is that you can shoot specific ship modules, taking down shields or weapons. Oh, you can do that on uh, Homeworld 2 as well. I think you could do that on Homeworld 1. Maybe. At least on the remake. This is an old, old game that has not been... Oh. Ready. Okay, so I can repair ships by docking them. Very interesting. I guess there's no more resources around. Yeah, let's just repair our stuff. Is everybody home? Yes. 
Yes, everybody's home. Let's see, I'm gonna save the game. Oh, it's saved. Interesting. Game saved. And now we click... Uh, we click B because I want... Oh. Still can do a hangar module. Frigate workers five and seven. I'm sure they'll forget to thank us later. You got that right. Worker 12, did you track down those suit beacons we picked up in sector 43? Sorry, command. We found the suits, but the poor dogs didn't have a chance to get their helmets on. We tagged them for the burial ships. Attention, Nagaran ships. We have thrown back the Imperial attack fleet. Higara should be safe once again. Kith Nabal would like to thank our brothers and sisters from Kith Manan, Sajet, and Kalel for their aid in battle. Kigara is in their debt, as are we. Outskirts of Higara. Auto launch set. We've been asked by Kith Manan to help them find one of their destroyers. The last word the Bushan Ray sent was of a power plant failure. There are reports of tyrannic radar ships operating in this region, so all pilots should stay on the lookout for pirate vessels. Pirates, you say? Our workers aren't currently fitted for salvage and repair duty. We need to build an engineering module in order to prepare our work crews. We will have to jettison the upper ore canister to make room. Okay, uh, interesting. Jets on the upper ore cannon. What's an ore cannon? <laughs> Sensors are picking up fast moving meteor belts in the region. Fighters should have no problem maneuvering through them, but if the destroyer drifts into one of them, it could be easily destroyed. Hmm. Confirmed raider presence. Go to full alert. Construction underway. Or transfer dog storage base. Jettisoning canister. Triggering canister destruct to keep it out of pirate hands. Okay. I guess we are... Becoming a full-fledged uh, combat ship now. What do we have around here? I need resources. Engineering module is now online. Research, repair, and salvage technology so our workers can assist the Bushan Ri. Okay. 
Beginning research. No Q? Okay. So you can have a hangar module or do I already have one? Probably already have one. It's probably this thing. Research completed. Repair technology available. Upgrade workers. Not yet. Research underway. Worker here. No way. Music in this game is great. Yeah. Even though it's uh, nothing is uh, happening, music. Okay. Research completed. Salvaging technology Begin available upgrade now. Upgrade workers. Bridge. Worker ready. Oh, they can self upgrade. Interesting. Worker ready. Upgrade complete. I keep clicking M to bring up this thing. It's not M. Roger, command. Stand by group one. Stand by group one. Moving to attack. Stand by group two. Got it. Hitting in. Report of hostiles by group two. Okay. This ship can defend itself better than the mother ship. Fleet. Hello, Cobalt. What did Fox miss? Uh, we protected our homeward. We learned that this game is janky because it's old. <laughs> it's still... It's not all that janky, to be completely honest, but still. We are picking up faint, calm echoes in these regions. The Bushan Ray may be close by one of these signal points. We are now in a bridge. Pirate infested region. Be advised, fleet. Command ship is relocating. Stand by group one. Your horror indeed. And there are no resources I can see to. Stand by group two. What did I do with my workers? Worker here. Yeah? Worker ready. Can't I do group zero? Setting assigned group nine. That's fine. We have group nine.
Okay, speed up. <laughs> it's taking too long. We have found the Bushan Ray. She's badly damaged. We need to send in a worker to help them with repairs. Okay. Stand by group nine. Stand by group one. Moving out. Stand by group two. You got it. No, I want to focus on the kids home. Ship is underway. Are those fighters going to attack me? I mean, I think my command ship can deal with them, but whatever. Stand by, Group Nine. To be fair, I kind of like that uh, that the camera is kind of locked to the position of my ships. It kind of makes this game a little more controllable once you get used to it. Since it's a 3D environment. Command ship is under attack. I am aware. How bad is thing are things doing? Okay. Stand by group one. Target acquired. Let me send group one to help. Maybe group one won't need to help. <laughs> Stand by group two. Stand by group one. Stand by group two. Okay. Uh, Delta formation set. Get a Delta formation around here. All right. Realistic ish gun sizes? Yeah, it's somewhat realistic to be fair. Yeah. You got it. I might need more workers. Uh, let's make a couple more. Uh, total of five, just because. Yeah, yeah. Beginning construction. Okay, it's not gonna be Picking easy. Up incoming hyperspace signatures. They appear to be Higaran support okay. frigates and are indicating they wish to help with the repair of the Bushan Ray. Continue the repair work and be prepared to cover the frigates if the raiders try to hit them. Got it. Stand by group one. Oh! Wrong button! Wrong button! Stand by group one. Stand by group two. I forgot how you do the protecting. Uh, tactics, formation, division. 
special actions. Ram, no. Stand by group one. Target acquired. Stand by group two. Charging weapon. Ah, but this is a good discovery. This is repair. Huh. Stand by group one. Something's wrong. They aren't sending any Kith recognition codes. We are attempting to check their markings. The frigates have changed shape. They are Raider Corvettes using some kind of holographic emitter technology to fool our sensors. Protect the destroyer at all costs. Okay, cloaking technology. Report of hostiles by group one. Stand by group two. Stand by group one. Weapons charge. Stand by group two. Moving to attack. Okay, the slowness. Worker ready. Okay. Um. Stand by group nine. Adding shift to group nine. Stand by group nine. Leave this to the pros. Stand by group one. Target locked. Stand in. by group two. Moving to attack. Bridge. Uh. Moving core fleet. Okay, uh, can I build more stuff? I can make an acolyte. Need repairs, command. Construction underway. Stand by group nine. Did they lose? Stand by group one. Stand by group two. Worker is reporting damage. Stand by group nine. Need repairs, man. Report of hostiles by group one. Worker ready. Worker ready. Come on, can't you? Repair. Worker here. Repair. Still not repaired, okay. Stand by group one. Alright. You can repair by docking. Worker ready. This to the pros. Man, has arrived. Who has arrived? Assisting. Worker here. Okay, you dock as well. Worker ready. Leave this to the pros. Worker ready. Assisting. How is your Ready health? Go, I are still fine. Uh oh. Stand by group one. Target acquired. Stand by group two. Got it. Hitting it. Stand 
in my group one. Adding shift to group one. Okay. How? Mm, still. Make another worker. Another. I think I lost an ACV. Okay, let's make an ACV. Beginning construction. Stand by group one. Report of hostiles by group charged. Charging weapon. Stand by group two. Target acquired. Stand by group one. Okay, I want your tacts to be aggressive. Going to high alert. Stand by group one. Stand by group two. Going to alert. Stand by group one. Adding shift to group one. Let's do it. I've been looking for a fight. Okay. by group two. How are things going here? We're picking up a dual signal on the emergency channel. Attention, Bushan Ray, did you send out our distress beacon? Negative, Kun Lion. We've been picking up that signal since we drifted into the region. It must be some kind of derelict. Hmm. You have stuff to share. Source of anomalous signal located. It may be of some value. Recommend sending a worker in to investigate and retrieve source of signal. A worker? Okay, you. Worker here. Moving out. Will I find here? Mm, can you speed up a bit? Thank you. Huh. Huh. Derelict. Worker ready. Target acquired. What is this thing? Did I find an oven? I think I find a space oven. We can hit food at industrial levels now. Enemy vessel now under fleet control. What is clever but a war crime? Picking ah, up the tyrannic raider calm transmissions. Okay. They must be after the derelict as well. Engage and destroy. Attention, Bushan Ray. Was wondering if you might be able to help out. Sorry, Kunlan. We barely have nav restored to the point that we can hyperspace. Besides, even a mining kit should be able to handle a few pirates. Thanks for the help. Bushin Rio. Uh, okay. Goodbye. Stand by group one. Moving to attack. Stand by group two. After analyzing the pirate package, our engineers believe they can replicate the mimicking technology. We can begin researching holographic projectors go, immediately. Sir. Report of hostiles by group one. Report of hostiles by group nine. Stand by group one.
Stand by group one. Uh oh. Target locked in. Report of hostiles by group one. Red. Okay. Report of hostiles by group two. All right, research. Holographic emitter. A single mimic can project a false image of most small-sized ships and objects, fighters, micro across ships and small asteroids, but the linked arrays of two mimics are required to project a false image of a larger ship. Report ships. of hostiles by group okay. one. Beginning research. Report of hostiles by group two. Retrieved the derelict and handed it over to the engineers for further investigation. Stand by group one. Target acquired. Stand by group two. Report of hostiles by group two. Charging weapon. Okay. Stand by group one. Need repairs. Moving to attack. Stand by group two. Report of hostiles by group one. Report of hostiles by group two. Stand by group one. Stand by group one. Okay, I need you. Target locked in. To go after that guy. The raiders are retreating. Good. The derelict is some sort of message pod, but the technology is like nothing we have ever seen before. We will analyze it further before returning to our mining mission. Stand by, Group One. Okay. I want you Going into to docking dock. pattern. Stand by group two. Attention hangar coming in. Yep, dock and uh nine. Stand by group nine. Good timing, there's a rattle. You can on the dock. This is command. I'm, I'm missing one worker, but that's fine. I already have four, and there's nothing here for me to harvest. Ready to go. Ships far away. Receiving you loud and clear. Okay. No need to do this as low. Research lower. completed. Good. And uh, workers running. What is this? MCV. Uh, holographic emitter linking technology. Quantum explosive charge. Ooh, it's a kamikaze thing. Okay. Can I have? Can I have resources? This looks like command resources. Hmm. What is this resources? Ship is underway. Okay. Mm. 
Stand by group one. Stand by group nine. It is All resources. Rocks. Worker here. Grab everything. Alright. Oh, disgusting your, disguising yourself as an enemy combatant is a war crime. Uh, shiny rocks, indeed. Command ship has successfully relocated. Stand by, Group 9. There are no more available resources in explored area. Okay. That's our cue to leave. Stand by group nine. Assisting. But first we repair. Okay. And we save. Yes, uh, okay, let's do it. End mission. What is that thing I recovered? What's the giant space oven I recovered? Honored greeting, Samta Kitsa. Did you receive our data regarding the anomalous artifact? We have. Our researchers agree. The signal and design matches nothing currently used by known galactic races. Where is the pod now? We have brought it aboard now and are securing it in the main hangar bay. What should we do with it? We're just a mining vessel. We're not equipped to study anything like this. We are transmitting design specs so that your manufacturing unit can construct a science module. Excuse me, Kit Sabin. Would it not be easier to seek help from another kit? We are still within hailing range of the Nabal command carrier. Surely they would have the staff to... No. A find like this could lead to alien technology that surpasses anything used by the other kit. Somehow needs this advantage. Uh... We have a science vessel the Klee Sun, studying stellar phenomena in the Karuptel system. They have been ordered to meet with you at these coordinates and transfer over a research team with analysis equipment. This matter must be kept within Kit Sun Tau. Is this clear? Yes, Kit Sa. Very clear. Fulan out. Okay, secrets. Uh, ah, yeah, it's the thing, but I'm not telling you what the thing is. Woo! <laughs> I don't think they know what the thing is. Like, they know it's important, just not how important. Auto launch set. We have arrived at rendezvous coordinates. Picking up a signal from the Clisson. Something is wrong. They're being jammed. Nobody likes to be cheap. Worker ready. Setting assigned group nine. The Cleason is in some kind of danger. Worker ready. Find her immediately. Setting assigned group eight. Stand by group nine. Um. Bridge. Command ship is underway. Stand by group nine. Okay, can I build my no Roaming Frigate uh, core mimic? Uh, what about research? Afterburners. Interesting. 
Carlos heavy tug to push other ships. Require uh, with additional uh, system. A heavy tug is capable of moving larger capital ships around, ramming frigate. Especially effective against missile ships. Okay. Research underway. Warning. Strike wing near minefield. Uh oh. Be advised, fleet. Command ship is relocating. Stand by, Group 8. Understood. Harvesting. <laughs> I'm so bored. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do it. Uh... Stand by group nine. Harvesting. Where is this guy Worker going? Ready. Ah, he's gonna drop more. He's gonna drop stuff, okay. <laughs> but rock and stone. Stand by group nine. Stand by group Oop, nine. Group Stand eight, by eight. group eight. Stand by group eight. Repair control R. Select okay. This is command. Okay, so you're Setting gonna assign seven. Group seven. Uh, I really want a processor, but okay. Stand by group one. Coordinates. Stand by group two. You got it. Stand by group seven. Command ship is stand by group eight. Oop. Yeah, command. Underway. I guess you can stay here with the uh, moving resources. Forward. Can act as a protection for the workers as well. Research completed. Nice. Stand by group two. Full reverse. Begin upgrade now. Upgrade complete. Upgrade complete. Ready to go. Upgrade complete. Okay. We're moving out right now. We've got some uh, warp effects. Nice. Okay. Minefield. Stand by group two. Report of hostiles by group one. Stand by group one. Weapons charged. Stand by group one. Mm -hmm. Old RTS have the best boss lines. <laughs> the music is spooky. Stand by group one. Target acquired. Stand by group two. Got it. Hitting it. Stand by group eight. Stand by group one. Stand by group eight. Report of hostiles by group one. Stand by group two. Moving to attack. Stand by group one. Stand by group eight. Prepare, underway. Report of hostiles by group one. Stand by group eight. 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 Stand by group eight.
by group two. Stand by group oh, two. Oh, okay. Group two just arrived. Stand by group eight. Report hostiles by group one. Group one is not having a good time. Stand by group two. Stand by group two. Okay. Report of hostiles by group two. Stand by group two. Worker, Got damage, it. It. worker, destroyed. Uh oh. Stand by group eight. Leave this to the pros. Stand by group two. Worker here. Ramming frigate destroyed. Oh no. Report of hostiles by group two. Stand by group two. Stand by group two. Target acquired. Report of hostiles by group two. Stand by group two. What a mess. Stand by group nine. I'm still making your group one. Stand by group two. Group 2 is doing actually quite well against these fighters. Stand by group 8. Assisting. Even though they are kind of Report bad against them. Group two. They're one hit kill though. Stand by group two. Report of hostiles by group two. Okay. Stand by group seven. Are we still building stuff? Yeah. Stand by group two. Stand by group two. Okay. Returning to head. Let's speed this up since my ship is here in you. Attention hangar well. coming in. Worker ready. Head back in. Stand by group seven. Receiving. Setting assigned group one. Okay, and now I want to build a processor. Construction underway. There you go. Hmm. Where's group nine? Stand by group nine. Stand by group seven. Yeah. What is that noise? Stand by group nine. Group nine's okay. Stand by group seven. Can I research anything? Upgrade leads to crystal processing technology. No, it is researched. Bridge.
Stand by, Group One. Group. Stand by, Group Eight. Group eight is okay. Ah, there we go. Stand by, Group Nine. Adding ships to Group Nine. Processor here. Stand by, Group Nine. Yeah, Roger, Command. Can you speak up? <laughs> No special action available. Okay. Stand by, Group Nine. I copy command. Processor moving out. Stand by, Group Nine. Uh. Processor here. Yes, processor there. Right, packing up, getting underway. Okay. I'm bringing the flagship with me. Stand by group one. Underway. Stand by group two. Let's go. Stand by group seven. Command ship is underway. Stand by group eight. Rods on full. Stand by group nine. I copy command. All right. How I have a lot of research units. Okay. Where are the other group nine? Stand by group nine. Peoples. Processor here. Can you actually process the resources? Processor here. Move star weak points tactics focus real. No special act. I wish that I could just set a, this guy to follow the. Oh yes, you can, and you have four little docks here. Interesting, okay. Stand by group seven. Okay, that is stand by group one. Dealt with. Roger, command. Underway, two coordinates now. Stand by group seven. Be advised, fleet. Command ship is relocating. Command ship is very slow. <laughs> Nothing? Don't want to just move out like super fast in case something happens. Hey. Oh, here we go. 
Stand by group one. Target locked in. Stand by group two. Charging weapon. Stand by group eight. Report of hostiles by group one. Stand by group one. Stand by group eight. Can you lead this to the pros? Stand by group one. I may have lost one of group one. Report of hostiles by group one. Report of hostiles by group two. What's Stand group by two group doing? Two. Stand by group two. Report of hostiles by group one. Anyone recurs Stand repair. by group one. Stand by group eight. Repairs underway. Stand by group nine. Stand by group one. Stand by group one. Come on, uh, here. Coordinates. Lock Stand in. by group two. We're moving out right now. Stand by group seven. Command ship is underway. And eight. Stand by group eight. Stand by group it is one. following. Okay. Stand by group seven. Stand by group nine. There are no more available resources in explored area. Okay. Stand by group one. Weapons charge. Stand by group two. <coughs> Moving to attack. Stand by group one. My group one is Safety not being on. that great. Okay, things are happening. Okay. The Raiders have been the Klesan in a globe of mines. If the Klesan moves, the mines will activate and destroy her. Okay. That's bad. Stand by group one. When we do attack. Stand by group two. The Klesan is trying to transmit some kind of coded data, but the jamming is too strong. We need to send a mimic in past the mines and establish a direct tight beam link. Report of hostiles by group one. Ready to go. Mimic, okay. Stand by group two. Target acquired. Stand by group one. Why well, I'm insisting on making like Fighters. <laughs> Stand by group eight. Stand by group eight. 
These ram guys are way Stand much better. Two. Charging weapon. Report of hostiles by group two. Moving to attack. Report of hostiles by group one. Stand by group one. Stand by group two. There are no more available resources in explored area. All right. Report of hostiles by group two. Stand by group two. Okay, I was worried. This guy disappeared. There are no more available resources in explored area. Stand by group eight. Assisting. Stand by group seven. Worker ready. Stand by group nine. Good timing. There's a rattle in the manifold. Okay. Stand by group one. So I need some mimics. Let's make a couple. Beginning construction. Stand by group one. Returning to hangar. Stand by group two. Returning to hangar. Stand by group eight. Head back in. Stand by group nine. Uh, Roger, command. Can you speak up? I copy command. Okay, you are weird. Processor moving out. Have you built what I told you to? Yes. Stand by group seven. Where are my mimics? I am here, command. Setting assigned group six. Okay. Accepting move order. Stand by group six. Where are those mines? I see them. Report of hostiles by group Moving six. Here. Moving. Okay. Special action. Set mimic. Enemy ship. Okay. I had to do that. Path accepted. I thought it was kind of an automatic thing. I was mistaken. Stopped. Okay. 
what do we have here? Thank the Maker. You got through to us, Kunlan. We've been able to use our advanced scanners to access the mine transponder codes. Now you'll be able to see all of them on your sensor manager. If you're going to break us out, it'll have to be soon, though. This raider force is just pinning us until a larger fleet can get here and board us. We got have it. to free the Klesan immediately. The raider guard fleet must be engaged and destroyed as well. We're a big target for those raider missile corvettes. We need some more firepower of our own. Have engineering pull up whatever they can find on missile technology and have them begin researching it now. Stand by group six. Build a weapons module immediately. A weapons module? Okay. Weapons module. Construction underway. Can you make more? No. Report of hostiles by group nine. Group nine? Stand by group nine. Stand by group one. Target acquired. Can I use group one to destroy those mines? Report of hostiles by group six. Stand by group one. Group six is destroyed, that's fine. Kind of expected. Stand by group one. Okay, yeah, group one's doing a good job. Good, 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 good. Ah, that was pretty good. Stand by group one. The Kleeson is out of danger. Target locked. Recommend in. we escape into hyperspace before the main raider fleet can arrive. Alright. Your recommendation is acknowledge. to escape next week I do not know how long the next uh, stage might take we are at uh, two hours for two hours and a half or so yeah two hours for the minute and this is a slow game <laughs> yeah homeward is a very interesting game and very atmospheric indeed uh, both me and Yellow played uh, Homeward 1 as well. Uh, I think Yellow played the entirety of Homeward series uh, on screen. Uh, this game I have never played. I have played uh, the entire series, the entire series, uh, rest of the series uh, out of camera. And I am going to play the entire series and there's a third one being made. Very interesting. I'm looking forward to that, uh, to Homeward 3. <laughs> My computer is too old to play any Homeward games because it can't update drivers. <laughs> well, uh, this one is a... You might be able to play this one because it's... I, I even had trouble... Uh, uh, running, uh, getting this to work on a modern computer. <laughs> Uh, what about Hard Space Shipbreak? Well, I heard of that game, 
and it looks interesting. Uh, it's the salvage, it's the one about salvaging ships, isn't it? it it's on my radar. Same devs as homework? Interesting. So yeah, um, so in about an hour and 20 minutes, uh, we'll be playing uh, some uh, uh, Minecraft tomorrow at 3 p.m. Uh, GMT last 3 I'll be playing Slay the Spire. Next Monday at 8 p.m. I'll be playing Comic Zone. And I'll probably be able to finish that game at Monday itself. It's not a very long game. Which means that on Wednesday. I will most likely be playing uh, Flashback. Yeah, since they announced Flashback 2, yeah, let's play Flashback 1 Wednesday. And yeah, MC2 in the comic zone. That that's a good one. That's a cool one. But yeah, for now, thank you so much for watching. I am the plane shifter and I am phasing out. Bye.